Nick Mertz, you're a f***ing cheating scumbag piece of sh**. You should be banned off of Twitch and this game. F*** you. Like and subscribe in the next five seconds if you want the FaZe House New York to come back. What's up guys, welcome to the video. We got some pretty serious allegations coming out of FaZe Rain towards FaZe Clan that could honestly result in another potential lawsuit involving hundreds of thousands of dollars. Rain's also made a lot more of the behind the scenes stuff about his relationship with the FaZe guys public and there's a lot of stuff looking really shady. Keep in mind these are allegations, I'm just gonna be showing you everything that went down. So feel free to let me know what you think about everything in the comments. On top of that, Nick Merckx got roasted by one of the most toxic pro Fortnite players I've ever seen. We're going to be getting into that after we talk about the face situation. And before we get into this, if you guys want to win a thousand V-Bucks, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and comment your epic games down below. I add my subscribers all the time and send three gifts every day. So if you do all that, you're eligible to receive a gift worth a thousand V-Bucks. If you guys are new here, if you like Fortnite, if you like news, if you like gaming, make sure you turn on those post notifications and subscribe because we are super close to 750,000 subscribers and you could be that milestone achieving sub. Use code first in the shop if you want to support and let's get into everything that happened on twitter between rain and the phase clan so this all started this morning when Rain took to his Twitter to vent some frustrations and personal issues he's been having with himself lately. Now, because I know there's a lot of people that deal with similar stuff, I'm not gonna be getting into all the tweets about his personal issues. I'm only gonna be presenting the tweets that are relative to his relationship with the FaZe guys and these allegations. I also know there's probably a lot of people that could see this video that could be going through similar stuff. And what Rain is kind of going through is just entirely something that is way too sensitive for me to speak on. But during his rant, the first tweet that started started raising flags about FaZe and his relationship with the FaZe guys is this one. He said, this has never been for attention. If that's what I wanted, I could have moved back to LA and been fake friends with everyone for clout like everyone already does, also making millions off of it. Now, for those of you guys that have been a fan of Rain for a while, you'll know that he hasn't lived in LA since I believe the Calabasas house. He might have lived in their second house briefly, but he has been back home in Canada for at least a year, maybe longer. So I've always kind of wondered if he still had a good relationship with the phase guys or if he's just been kind of doing his own thing and it looks like he did just that this is an obvious subtweet most likely at banks and alex and members of the clout house again all we can really do with this tweet is speculate who this could be about but for those of you that have been a fan of the phase clan and rain for a long time it's probably pretty easy you can narrow it down to roughly who he could be talking about here but it gets even shadier and shadier with this next chain of tweets. Now I'm going to have to be censoring a lot of these tweets for obvious reasons, but Rain tweeted out F everybody. To that, a Twitter user replied saying, this guy is always seeking attention with these posts. It's getting annoying. And to that, Rain replied, you're such a F word. And he got another reply out of another Twitter user saying, good way to represent FaZe Clan. What's going on with you, man? And then Rain replied saying, F if I care at this point, I have not made a dollar off FaZe. I'm just negative hundreds of thousands. None of them give a F about me after everything I did for their brand and those people. Now, obviously this tweet is lacking a lot of detail, but one thing that is very clear is Rain is very frustrated with everybody involved in FaZe. In the way I interpret his line saying, I'm just negative hundreds of thousands, none of them give a F about me, is I think he has owed a lot of money from an initial investment he made in FaZe, or there's some sort of contract deal where he's supposed to receive X amount of phases profit and he's not getting that or it could be way more casual and he just feels like he is owed a bigger slice of the pie considering everything he did for phase in the early days. It's no secret that Rain hasn't been around the phase guys as much the last year, year and a half as he said and no matter whose side you're on you can't deny the fact that Banks and Alex and Apex and all these guys are always making videos in the content house for the channel so maybe this is just a case of Rain feeling entitled to something he does does not deserve because those guys have stayed at the house in LA for the last couple years and grinded out videos for the brand and done all this stuff while he kind of went to Canada. Who knows what could be actually going on here, but the bottom line here is that for whatever reason, Rain is claiming that FaZe owes him hundreds of thousands of dollars. But the shade does not end there, folks, because Rain went on to subtweet who I think is Banks, and I think all you longtime FaZe fans will definitely be able to tell it's Banks based on the context of the tweet. Here's what he said. Someone I knew went through something similar Similar to me, when he needed me, I was always there. Went out of my way to visit him and bring him stuff in a facility. Spent 
hours and hours talking with him. Now that I've needed the same help, he's been nowhere to be found. Hashtag phase up. Wow. What a blow at the longtime friends in FaZe Clan. Now, the reason why I believe this is about Banks specifically, if you guys don't remember, it's probably been about three years at this point, but Banks actually suffered from a complete mental break. There's a video on his channel where he talks about, if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it down below in the description. But Banks actually had what some may call a severe drug addiction, and he kind of just drove himself insane. Now, there's a lot of FaZe members that have probably had struggles like this these sort of struggles are actually very common amongst a lot of youtubers so who knows maybe this was about blaziken or k or adapt or some of the other more or g phase members but to me i really feel like that this is a hundred percent directed right at banks one of the head honchos at the phase clan and if all this is true it just really sucks to see this man because i've been a phase for years and years just like i'm sure a lot of you guys watching have and i think a lot of us would also agree that the phase house new york days was possibly the pinnacle of phase in terms of content and i just remember how tight these guys used to be and it looks like at this point all this has totally fallen apart and that's basically everything that we know about these allegations with phase owing rain a lot of money and kind of stabbing him in the back let me know what you think about it all down in the comments i personally hope this isn't true and maybe rain is just going through something and acting out because these are some pretty damning allegations in my opinion and i don't know if any of this will ever go past twitter i don't know a lot about the legal side of esports but phase is already dealing with that tfue lawsuit and if rain ever decided to take them the court i mean who knows what could happen man let me know what you think about all that down in the comments now moving on to our next situation we got a twitch streamer known as t hump absolutely going off at nick mercs and going for his neck it's super toxic but also hilarious obviously so i'm gonna leave you guys out to check this out if you guys are new here i want to go ahead and ask you guys one more time feel free to subscribe i would really appreciate it we're grinding videos out make sure you have those notifications on use code first in the item shop drop a like if you watched this far and i'll catch you guys in the next video enjoy uh and russia during the cold war you don't know what an arms race is go right there no i don't did they get out no, they're still in there. Oh, they're still going. Wait, there's somebody else is shooting at us. Over here, over here, yeah, yeah, I I had shot at that guy 47. Watch behind us, they're on him. Yeah, yeah, On me. Killing, I'm coming up right now. Other ones right here. Other one's one shot on me. Well, not one shot, but I took off all the shields. Did he just jump to his death? We're getting shot down. Get down. Okay. No, he's right here. I learned this from Young Calculator. I got him. I killed him. I killed nice. Him. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. The other guy's right here. Right here. Yeah. I'm gonna. Fucking guy. I took his wall. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. All right. Taking his wall again. Got his wall. Dad, let's fucking go, baby. Good shit. Get her pregnant. Yeah. Get her, but you need to have children. Uh, you need to have children. No, no. You need to start young. You're actually really good at this game, so if you start young now, there's another guy on me. What the f I hit one for a good amount here. Got this guy on me. I'm healing. Yeah, I'm going quick, pop the mini. Stop! Sorry. Asperger's. Oh, fuck. What the hell? You good? You good? You good? I meant kids. I meant yeah, kids. Yeah, if you can I'm just me. get out. I mean, he's trying to, he's trying to take my wall. Tommy, right here. Fuck. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard on me. Okay. Oh my god, I snapped. Good shit. Good I have mid kids. I have mid kids. Here, here. I can drop you. I can drop you. There, drop. All I right. need to get zone. All right, thank. Go ahead. Holy fuck, boomer hands, boys. Uh, there's people like over here fighting. What is it, two ticker? All right. Oh god. Oh brother. Okay, so what does you that mean? Like it, dude. Yeah, 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 you need one? No, no, no. I'm chilling. I'm just here. I can drop you. I can drop you another one in the storm. In the storm. I'm, I'm gonna good. drop I'm it. Popping it right now. I already dropped you one. Oh god, I'm getting shot at. This is not good. I'm oh. dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I, yeah, look, dude, this kid hits every bullet, man. Look at where he's at, dude. Like he's literally. Can you pick me Over up and here. maybe carry me in? Like he hit no, every sorry. bullet on me, bro. He's looking at you, I think. 
I, you can't oh. build when you like pull me in, right? Dude, that kid's a the laser, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know, bro. That kid hit every bullet on me. This kid is literally Nick Mercer. He's aimbot. That guy is literally. Yeah, that dude's spraying There's every no bullet. Way. I'm There's spectating. No I'm spectating. I'm watching. This kid has one kill, bro. There's no way. He's, no, he's controller. Look how slow he's turning. I'm I'm so depressed right now. After everything wow. I after everything I just went through, just to get lasered like that against a fucking controller player. Why are these fucking reasons allowed? I'm just going to go ahead and say this, Nick Mertz, you're a fucking cheating scumbag piece of shit. You should be banned off of Twitch and this game. Fuck you. That's why I'm telling you, bro. This is what happens. You know, I, you guys have noticed that Nick Mertz is a fan of Michigan Wolverines because he's a fucking loser. Holy shit, dude. Literally so fucking retarded. I have to deal with this. We're not even playing the same game. I'm playing checkers. They're playing chess.